Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up PHP in Visual Studio Code. To do this, you have to download Jam at first. Go to the browser and search Jam and go for the download. And here you can see we have three options here. Just go for the latest version here. According to your PC, you can actually download the 64 bit or 32 bit. So here my PC is 64 bit, so I will actually download this one and just click here and it will actually start downloading if it is not then click here then it will actually uh, took you to this place i mean this space then just click here download the latest version and it will start downloading so i have already installed it here you can see if i search here jam here you can see jam so you just have to uh, install it like other app and then if i click here you can see this is the control panel of gem why we need gem because php is server side scripting language so uh, we need a server for this and uh, that is the reason actually we need gem here because gem provide us apache server and mysql also uh, so we can actually get you know benefit okay uh, because we need uh, mysql also to i mean to connect with the database we need uh, mysql connection also so jamp actually provide us this uh, both op op option and one is for the server localhost server that is apache and another one is mysql so uh, what you have to do you have to start apache to run php code but now let's go for the visual studio code you have to download visual studio code also just go for the uh, download here you can see and then uh, go for the operating system you are actually using so i'm using windows so i will click here and it will actually start downloading but I will not download it because I have already downloaded and installed it in my PC. Here you can see the interface. So what you have to do, you have to go to the extension here at first, then search for PHP and then go for PHP IntelliFence. So you have to wait for some times. And here you can see IntelliFence. So you have to install it. Okay. That's it. Just install it. Trust publisher. Okay. Don't worry. All right, so we have uh, installed the extension. Now, what I have to do, we just have to open the folder. Here, I'm going to select open folder and I have to create a file, PHP file, but inside gem. So at first I will go uh, to the drive where actually I have installed it. So in my case, I have installed gem in my uh, web development drive. Uh, you may actually uh, install it in C drive. So you will find a folder like gem here, you can see. And then go to the htdocs folder why because every single project will be inside htdocs okay here you can see code blogs so this is a project and uh, i have created this folder for the uh, blog post website so if you need a new project you can actually create a new folder here let's say i will say test php so this will be the project and uh, we have to keep every single project inside htdocs that's it we have htdocs here and now let's say I want to open this folder, so I will drag and drop this folder in Visual Studio Code. Here you can see I have test PHP here. So what I have to do, I have to create a new file. Let's say I'm going to delete this one, and uh, uh, the file name let's say index.html. Sorry, this is the PHP file, so I have to use PHP. So PHP file end with an extension that is .php. Press enter, and this is the file. So if I write something here, let's say this is the php syntax now i will say here echo this is index base all right so now to run php we have to uh, start the server as i mentioned earlier so we are in gem control panel and we just have to start this apache server currently it's yellow uh, but it will turn into a different color here you can see the green one and uh, that's it now we don't need mysql work so we'll not uh, will not actually start the server also we just start the localhost server now we can actually run this so i'll go to the browser and i'll say here that localhost localhost slash if i press enter here you can see here you can see we have two project one is test php another one is code blogs so i'll go to the test php and here you can see this is index space so we can actually access it so this is how uh, you can actually set up php in visual studio code what do you have to do you have to install gem then you have to start the server then you have to add extension that is called php intellifence okay and uh, then what you have to do you have to add the folder or directory here 
but you have to uh, keep your directory inside jam folder then htdocs right okay i mean you project so here is the project just drag and drop it and you can actually work with visual studio code i mean work inside visual studio code okay so i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video till then goodbye